what's going on guys let's go ahead and get into this quick message it's more than a quick message honey this is a whole lot of tea and this is a masculine energies tea you could also be connected to this masculine energy in one of two ways either you are the individual that this person is currently sleeping with or you're going to be the individual that this person is thinking about while they are sleeping with someone so i was sitting here and i was getting some downloads right and the downloads that i started receiving was there is a masculine energy and you may have recently found something out about an individual that you are connected to sexually you may have found out that the person that you're connected to they may be having another affair or you could have even found out that this individual has been keeping a lot of secrets from you they've been keeping some things on the down low straight up um but I feel like you found out a lot of these things. You've been piecing the puzzle together through the use of readings. So you may have been getting a lot of readings or you've been listening to a lot of readings. You've been doing your homework, okay? You're putting this puzzle together pertaining to this individual, this woman that you are dealing with. The thing is, the woman that you are sexually intimate with this woman may also be in tarot as well. This person could get tarot readings. They may watch tarot readings. They may desire to um, like study tarot. They could even study the occult in some type of way, whether this is um, auras, this is astrology. This person has some type of knowledge of spirituality, okay? You're putting the piece of the puzzle together when it comes to this person, right? And this person, whoever this woman is, she is picking up on that. Now, either she is following you to the messages that you are listening to, or you guys are listening to some of the same messages, okay? Or this person is learning to read tarot. Put it where it go, boo, right? So, you're figuring some stuff out. But you're going to notice that this woman recently... You could have been down and out about something that you may have found out. This woman utilizes beauty and sex to try to distract you. Now, this woman, I feel as if whoever this person is, it's like they, what they said was, I'm going to put it on them. Okay, that's what this individual was thinking. I'm going to put it on him so good that he forgets or that he doesn't leave, right? So I'm like, okay, well, what is this chick doing? Some of you guys could be dealing with someone who was born in the month of October or someone who's born in the fall months, okay? Right when I was like, what is this woman doing? Roscoe started drinking out of his bowl. Detroit is also going to be significant. As well as an Aries or a Taurus. So I said, oh. She going to do something freaky to you, bro. And I feel as if it's kind of going to shock you, but it's also going to excite you. However, this woman, she's only doing it to solidify her position when it comes to um, a financial connection with you. You may wonder if this person loves you. Do they truly love you? I feel like you may be in a place where you are seeking or desiring true partnership. And you're trying to figure out if this person is being honest with you, if they truly love you. So this person going to end up doing something real freaky to you, right? With it, with their tongue. And it's going to excite you. But it's also in the back of your mind, you're going to be wondering where the fuck you learn that at. Because I feel like you have been with this person for some time sexually. You may have been with this person for a few years. This individual could have even done this the past week. Or they may end up doing it in the coming weeks. Okay. Somebody's name is Cummings also. Now, what the person doesn't know is is that even when you are intimate with this individual, you have to think about another woman. Whoever this other woman is, you may be seeing the number 444. Um, this person could have a four phone number, age, date of birth. Okay, could even be life path or even their home address. Okay. 
This woman is protected. Whoever this woman is, she is spiritually protected. And I feel as if you are thinking about this woman. There's this strong attraction, desire to be with this woman intimately. However, you are not with this woman intimately. The woman that you are with, I do feel as if, yes, there may be some attraction there, but um, you may not be fully erect when you connect with this woman. You have to think about whoever this other woman is. And when you start to think about this other woman, um, it's like you envision her being that person that you are sleeping with. Okay, and I feel like that's how you are able to like truly perform. I feel like this is something that is definitely a secret. You have not told anyone this. Okay. I also was picking up that this woman, she has a fear that you're going to leave her. And she may know who this other woman may be that is on your mind. So she has some type of fear or maybe she feels like she has to compete with someone. This woman may have some insecurities, but I feel like when it comes to the connection with you, this woman seems to be very familiar with you. So she can kind of drop her guard a little with you. This is the thing. You're going to notice something. I also picked up that you and this woman have a history of not being faithful to each other. And I feel like you know this. The two of you may have even come to terms with um, where things are at. And I feel like maybe you tried to start on a new path. Maybe you wanted to, okay, let's give each other a clean slate. Let's start over. You may have cut off all of the people that you were talking to, but your person hasn't. And I feel like what's going to end up happening is, is when you are sexually intimate with this individual, you're going to either notice that this woman's pH is off, okay? Somebody has a 713 phone number, 717 could be significant. You could be seeing some of these numbers. Um, the month of June may also be significant. Some of you guys could be a cancer or dealing with a cancer sign, but you're going to notice that this woman's pH is off or you're going to notice a slight smell. Now, you've noticed this smell before and I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, you are very educated when it comes to a woman's body. You may have been with a lot of different women. And again, you've been with this woman for some time or at least sexually connected to her for some time to kind of know when her pH is right and when her pH is not right. Her pH ain't right because she's messing around and you're going to end up figuring that out because I do feel as if either if it's not during sex, it's going to be shortly after sex that you realize that kind of like stench now you may end up asking this person either it's going to be a stench 817 area code okay somebody could have an eight a one or a seven phone number age date of birth but and it doesn't just mean that somebody with that area code got a stench okay y'all don't start don't start i know some of y'all <laughs> Do not start. I'm just, the messages are coming very fast. So I'm trying to make sure that I get all of the information out. But um, this individual, okay, you're going to notice that stench shortly after or um, more towards the end of that intimate moment between the two of you, right? Now, for some of you guys, it's going to be more than a pH being thrown off. For some of you guys, you may find out that this woman has an STD. However, this woman is not telling you this. 913 could be significant. You or this person could have a 913 phone number, age, or date of birth. Baby, it could even be in your home address. 919 is also significant. 323 is significant. 305 is significant. Okay, 205 is significant. 678, come on, ancestors. Lord! Where do y'all live at? This is a lot of masculine. This is a lot of people that's going through this. Okay. Um, but you're trying to get clarity. 
And I feel like this situation, whatever it is, it's going to give you that clarity that you need. Now, I also was picking up that you have, whoever this woman is that you've been thinking about, Vegas is also going to be significant. Whoever this woman is that you have been thinking about, um, you've actually masturbated to this woman before. It's 10, 10. You may be seeing that number. Okay. I feel like you're coming to the end. It's like that is about to end. You may be about to end a major chapter in your life. And I feel like this could be someone you're wanting to gravitate towards. The 22nd could be significant. Um, somebody could even be a life path number 22. This person could have a 22 phone number, age, date of birth, baby. Come on now. Come on. Okay. You know, you know the procedure by now. Okay. Now for somebody, they know the procedure when it also comes to either their pH being thrown off or, um, a STD. Now let's get back to it. So this person has been keeping a secret from you. And I feel like you're going to end up finding out because something may be off. Again, either it's going to be this person's pH or for my masculine energy, you may start experiencing some type of symptoms. That's when you're going to find out that your person has not been honest and that they have been dipping back into a old relationship. Somebody that they've been talking to. Somebody is a Scorpio. Somebody could be born in the month of November. Okay. Oh, Lord. Now, we can pull a couple cards on it, but I'm going to just go ahead and read the Apple playlist because I honestly get a lot of downloads from that and I will pull a couple cards for you, all right? But let's go ahead and go over here to this Apple playlist, honey. You trying to figure out where the love is with this person. Okay, there's a lot of joy and pain with this situation. Somebody wants to make it known that an individual, he's mine or she's mine. However, this relationship has brought about a lot of um, pain. There's been a lot of tears in this situation. Now, somebody is definitely going to end up coming out of the doctor's office with some tears in their eyes because this person was fiending. They was fiending for something or someone or they was having a hard time of turning someone or someone that something or someone down for some of y'all for some of my masculine energy. This is somebody that you are closely connected to. This could be somebody that you know, it's someone that could be a part of like a group dynamic. So if you hang out with um, a group of individuals, I feel like around the Christmas time may be significant. The holiday season could be significant. You could have even hung around these individuals or went to some type of holiday party with these persons, could have partied with them just in general. Okay, but I feel like things are crystal clear now. You could be utilizing clear courts during this time, okay? And I also feel as if whoever this woman is, this is somebody that you typically will do any, just about anything for this person. So again, you may have some type of assets or something that are tied together. Mm -hmm. You talk to this woman about everything. You're very open with this woman. This woman knows a lot about your life and a lot about uh, your past history. The number 19 could also be significant. You could see that number, okay? But this whole situation, it really has you questioning, is the, have you done, it? was everything that you did, was it in vain? Okay. Because I do feel like you really have molded this woman or you, at least you felt like you molded this woman. So again, y'all could have been together for some time. You've put in some years. Maybe you feel like you know, y'all understand each other to the point where you don't have to tell this person exactly what you feel or exactly what you need. And that could even be a fear when it comes to starting a new relationship, having to start over from scratch and having to kind of mold that person as well as you molding yourself to that relationship. But it's always, it seems like it's always a problem in this connection. Now, I'm also picking up that Whoever this individual is after, <clears throat> excuse me, after the two of you, they don't want me to tell you this, 14, 14, baby. After the two of you are sexually intimate at around four o'clock in the morning, this person may wake up at like four to six o'clock in the morning, but around four o'clock in the morning, um, especially if you're spending the night or you and this person live with each other, okay? Rhode Island could also be significant. This individual is going to, you're going to hear this person in another room. This person is actually lighting a candle on your ass, honey. 
they're trying to um, do like a love spell or they're trying to uh, do a sex spell now you're actually going to wake up you may even hear this person like your ancestors are going to wake you up alerting you to what this individual is doing but what the person is going to say to you is that they're trying to manifest money okay this person is not trying to manifest money you may even know that this person does some type of manifestation 1515 will be significant you may know that this person does some type of manifestation but what you don't realize is that this person um they're not always doing those manifestation spells that they tell you that they're doing a lot of those spells that you've either seen them do um or that they've said that they are doing for money has actually been um for to solidify or to get you to open up your heart to get you to open up to them and to solidify a relationship with them okay so this individual h-town could definitely be significant um this person when they get in their feelings they definitely are quick to light a candle they could have even recently lit four candles maybe you even know this okay but this person they gonna end up wiping they self down or whatever and it's like something you you may be triggered it's going to be something that definitely triggers you because you're starting to see things clearly when it comes to your environment yeah you give this person whatever they want mm -hmm. now some of you spent a lot of money with this individual or on this individual and i feel like that's what's gonna hurt the most when you find out all of the truths because even through um tarot i don't feel like you have all of the truths to your situation it's like tarot is just giving you bits and pieces of what's really going on in your situation like this person whoever that woman is you sleeping with that's doing all of this to try to keep you it's more so for the monetary reasons it's what you do so you provide this woman with some type of comfortability or a lifestyle that she cannot get elsewhere she knows that another person will not take care of her look usher is playing no limit there is no limit to the things that you will do for this person and nobody has ever done these things for this person they've never lived this lifestyle without you so for this person they have to do everything to try to keep you okay even if that's introducing something new into the bedroom but this new thing that they introducing into the bedroom is something that they learned from the other individual that they are sleeping with. Okay. Charlotte could be significant. And I'm telling you, whoever homegirl is, baby, she gonna try to put it on you. But again, you're constantly thinking about this other woman. And this other woman, you're not talking to this person. This woman could even be in the spotlight or she could be popular, well-known. Somebody could have a nine uh, phone number, age, date of birth. Somebody could also be born in the 90s. You really want this person, but they shut you out. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this woman that you're thinking about. Age ain't a factor. So there's an age difference between you and this woman. Mm -hmm. This woman could be older. You've been thinking about this woman a lot. Could even be looking at this person's pictures because you're not in contact with this person. Sunday morning, you made a decision to make some changes in your life. You've been up since then. You've been sleepwalking. You're dealing with a lot of regret or even sorrow in a major way. And I feel like your moods may be shifting. It can kind of go back and forth. You could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini. Okay. I feel like you're ready to take the blame in the situation or you may feel like you need to take a blame in the situation. Somebody is a Scorpio also. Okay. Can't nobody else but this individual. It's like love TKO, honey. Okay, so there was a bad habit that was created within that connection. But somebody's like, you know what? I'm cool on you. And also, when somebody, when you find out the truth about your situation, you may be cool on this person that you're dealing with. Okay, because you could end up feeling like that person is just holding you up from another relationship. You like money bag, yo. You said it's me versus me. 
You you your own competition, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that thing gonna hit different when you find out the truth. Okay, now whoever this person is that you're thinking about, you love the way that they flex. You like the way that they look. You feel like this person, they could have like a baby face, look very young again for their age. Um, but this person has an innocence about them and you definitely missing this person. Somebody's a Capricorn. There's a lot of lessons when it comes to love, baby. That thing hit different. You're going through an ascension too. You're in the middle of an ascension and you're starting to realize that sex ain't better than love. So whoever this woman is, even if you're in a long-term relationship or even if you've been with this person intimately for some time, you're still starting to realize that that relationship does not equate to what it is that you are yearning for. Oh, baby, yeah, somebody been getting real emotional. You may feel emotional. You could be connecting to your divine feminine, okay, that... Um, connection to oneself mm -hmm. and it ain't nice look you wish somebody you want that person to make love to you mary j blige you missing them like crazy so let's find out but what's going on that relationship the person that you're thinking about this entire situation baby is faded There's some things that you may be celebrating or this individual that you're thinking about. You want to spend time with somebody. Okay, so let's find out about the... Okay, so the person that is doing that freaky stuff to you to try to keep you. This individual, 5150, love gone wrong. It was a fairy tale beginning, but this situation could turn into like a homicidal ending. Okay, somebody could be an earth sign dealing with the earth sign, especially an earth sign man. You could be an earth sign man. You could even be operating as an earth sign masculine. Oh, there, see, unrequited love. You don't feel the same way that that person does. This person is yearning for your attention. They're yearning for your affection. They're yearning for things to be like they were in the beginning, how you used to feel about that person. And you at times may wish that that attraction, that desire was there. But ever since you met a certain individual, whoever this woman is, baby, that you're thinking about, whoever that person is, ever since you met that person, shit ain't been right ever since. It's like you can't think about nothing else. February could also be significant. Okay. Some of you guys may have even walked into like a portal with this individual Definitely go back and look at certain dates like 222, 1111, 1212, okay, 88. Like there could be portals where you ended up connecting with this person. Mm -hmm. You don't feel the same way. You, again, joint assets, you have some finances connected to this person. Y'all could have vehicles, cell phones property bank accounts it's like it's something that's connected to this individual it could be a home okay but you don't feel the same way like you would just rather sit back and watch movies but this person is like oh they cut the lights out and it's giving me the vibe of okay so Everybody ain't going to be able to understand this. But if you've ever been in a long-term relationship or you've been married, you're going to understand this. You know how when you're in a relationship with somebody and you're just not feeling it, you're not feeling the relationship no more, when it gets to the tail end of the relationship. And when you get to the tail end of the relationship, like the communication really not there, you really trying to fake it. It's like, okay, I'm trying to see if it's going to work, but I'm not really happy. I'm not really putting the work in or this person's not putting the work in. You're not really having sex. And then when you do have sex, it's like, ugh, I don't want to do it. It's a chore. There, It's like sex becomes a chore. Connecting with that person becomes a chore. It becomes something like it goes from you being excited to hear from that person to looking at your cell phone like what the fuck you want now that's where this person's energy is at but you just rekindled this relationship with this person so y'all just got back on good terms and now you're trying to figure out why do i feel like that 
Why am I steadily thinking about another individual? Like your feelings for the whole situation has changed. You having joint assets with the individual has changed. It's like everything about the situation is starting to irritate you. And again, back to everybody who's been in a relationship and you get to that tail end of the relationship and you got assets tied together. You like, you looking at your bank account like if this spend one, let this bitch spend one more dollar. Spend one more dollar. You know, it's like you're really just frustrated with everything that an individual could do. You know, it's like, okay, I let you drive my car. You get my car back. It ain't no gas in it. Like, you're fed up. Somebody is fed up. But you just reconciled the relationship. Y'all just got back on good terms. Uh-huh. plan b now this person they're trying to think of a plan b on how to keep these assets how to keep stuff in their name this person could even be trying to put stuff in kids names in they if y'all have kids together they could be trying to put stuff like in the kids name so that they can make sure that they have certain things because they're starting to pick up on the fact that again you know something because this person they i'm telling you this person got to be listening to readings they have to be listening to, they're getting some type of information just like you are. And you are noticing the red flags because that's what's on the bottom of the deck, red flags. So you're noticing the red flags in this person's behavior and this person is trying to get pregnant. So this person's like, okay, if I can get pregnant by this individual, then boom. Also be careful because somebody could be that somebody has multiple partners and they got a plan B. Their plan B is to go with the individual who has the joint assets. So that my masculine energy, baby, wrap it up, honey. Be careful during this time because some it's like this individual they have a plan when it comes to creating financial stability for themselves, even if that means that this woman got to have more kids. But somebody is lying about paternity or either about being with multiple partners. And I feel like that has been confirmed to you in multiple, again, multiple readings. So you're picking up on some things. Mm-hmm. This person is trying to create a bond with you. You may end up taking this person to court. Yeah, you may end up taking this, whoever this woman is, you may end up taking this woman to court. Somebody has an H as in Hannah. Somebody has an S as in Sam. Somebody has a D as in like Diamond. First, middle, last, initial. Mm -hmm. prosperity communicate all this woman talk about is prosperity now she'll slide some other things in there but this woman she wants to talk to you about money she'll call you and she'll talk to you about money she'll talk to you about the joint accounts things like that it's like she's trying to come up with another plan some of you guys could be a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sag Okay, let's look at this woman that you're thinking about. Because I feel like that's where your heart is truly at. You can listen to all of those other readings. It's a lot of tarot readers on um, YouTube that'll be able to pick up on your message, boo. Because I feel like that relationship is pretty much over. You kind of know that that relationship is really about just prosperity and somebody just wanting money. You can tell by the way that this person talks to you. This person even sent you a text message recently pertaining to money and again maybe you didn't agree with this person on how they spent something um or how they it, it could irritate you with the whole money situation okay but we ain't gonna focus on that let's look at this person that you are thinking about things changed in that relationship now, for some, not all, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's transgendered. Some of you guys may um, have just been transformed by a love relationship. You're very passionate about this person. 
but there's some emotional baggage there. This person is spoiled. They are. They are a spoiled brat. Okay, they love for you to show them that you appreciate them. They like to be spoiled with gifts, with love, with affection. This woman is very beautiful. It has a very beautiful smile. Mm -hmm. You may feel like some of her um, summer clothing, her outfits could be somewhat revealing. But I also see this woman wearing like a... Um, Oh, like a bodysuit, especially if it's one like a nighty. It's real cute. Mm -hmm. Little chocolate cutie. You feel like that relationship is going to be catastrophic. You may be afraid to communicate with this person or this person has some very strong words. Mm. Okay, a trip. Some trip or vacation was um, catastrophic. Somebody's name could be Cat. So I don't know if this person, if you and this person went on a trip or if you and this individual, something about a trip could be significant or if this person went on a trip. Mm, oh, you broke up. So there could be like, there could have been like some long distance travel or like something changed when it comes to like distance. But you didn't, you broke up with someone. Now, some of you guys could have lived at a distance. Y'all broke up with an individual. I, I'm not sure, baby, but it's really giving the vibes of you had a bad breakup with this person. Like y'all got into a very bad argument. And this could even be before you went on a trip or after. Things changed. This woman is like, she don't want to hear shit that you got to say. Okay, she's very feisty, whether she's a fire sign or not. This is a type, this is a little Lisa Left Eye Lopez. <clears throat> She'll set your shit on fire. Don't tell her I told you. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for her little crazy ass setting somebody shit on fire mm -hmm. don't give her no lighter fluid this woman changed you and some results may also change you this could be some test results or maybe it's gonna be some paternity test results that's definitely going to transform you yeah, you may be realizing that somebody had you up under a spell. And look, the song that's playing is hit different. Whatever these results are, baby, that's going to hit different. You have a changed man paternity test and Madame Monroe's love potion. Now, if somebody was doing love spells and whoever this woman is that you're thinking about, that's what broke y'all up. And it could have also been pertaining to a paternity or a paternity test. Mm hmm. Hmm. Family time. Rekindled lovers. Oh, honey, it was a revenge plot. Somebody was plotting on this masculine's downfall. It says, you hurt me and I hurt you. Revenge sex with a friend or family member. Betrayal trauma, personal vendetta, hidden hate. And you're going to go, okay, for my masculine energy, if this is a paternity test, you're going to end up going to court. You're going to end up taking this person to court. That was a revenge plot. This is only for my masculine energy that it has been confirmed or you've heard it in multiple other readings. Your gut is telling you. All this person ever talk about is like um, the financial side of things. This person, I, you could have spoiled this person. Your gut is going to tell you. But you got the paternity test out here with the revenge plot. And if you have a pendulum, you need to utilize your pendulum. Okay, 3434 is going to be your spiritual number. 
three, four, um, what is that? March, March 4th. The seventh could also be significant as well. Huh? Somebody could even be 34 years old. But somebody, this situation, it changes a masculine energy. And somebody plotted on your downfall. Now, somebody could also be doing spell work to like slow up a paternity test or try to get a masculine energy to change his mind about a paternity test. Somebody's name is Nitty or Nettie. Mm -hmm. Somebody's ancestor, Pat. Okay. Pat said, take the test. Who is Pat? Pat oh, Pat is mad. Who is Pat? Pat is mad. I don't know, baby, who Pat is. All Pat said was Pat was mad and to take the test. Okay. Somebody is trying to establish something is what I'm hearing. Okay. Your confirmation, Pat is going to break something. So if you, child, y'all better quit playing with the ancestors, honey. Who is Pat? Pat ain't playing. Child, let me find out. Hold on, Pat. Who are you, baby? Ooh. Pat ain't playing. Pat said, I don't ever. Whoever this person is, Pat do not want to ever see their ass again. Pat's going to break something in somebody's house. Like, literally, like, something in your house could have recently broke. You could be broke after taking a trip. Your money done been fucked up. Pat is disgusted with somebody. Somebody name is like um, Steen. Listen to Pat. You keep paying this shit, no mind. And somebody want to send something back. Pat. Ooh, okay, Pat. Tell them, girl, let me shuffle these cards in. It was a close friend of mine. Told you. Mm-hmm. Pat said, I've watched them do spells on you, child. Who is Pat? Well, you telling us, girl. You said you don't want to see this person again. Mm hmm If you were worried, masculine... Your conscience will be cleared about the situation so that you can move on. But whoever that woman is, her conscience will not be cleared. Mm-hmm. And Pat don't ever want to see this person again because she wants to see the best in you. This could even be like a church mother or something. Now, whoever this woman is, she always likes to throw up the things that you did wrong. And yes, both of y'all have done wrong things. But this girl, she said she ain't calling her no woman, honey. She said this girl. This girl went too damn far. The revenge plot that she had. She wanted to hurt this man. Okay, Pat, tell us. Hold on, honey. She wanted to hurt this man to his core. She was upset. She could have gotten some type of test results. He could have even given her an STD. And she wanted to pay him back. Mm -hmm. In fact, Pat said, that's why your work has been um, the way that it is. That's why things in your work sector has changed. She's been trying to inspire you to change, to take the necessary steps that you're supposed to be taking. Pat is mad. Kyle, you miss Pat, honey. Something about somebody's toes. I don't know if somebody's like wiggling their toes or something. Mm-hmm. 
Tell us, Pat. What you hold on, child? Let me get your cards together, girl. I know you mad, honey. She said she gonna break some shit. She gonna okay. Mm -hmm. and something somebody could recently got like an oil change or you could have gotten some oil on you or something on a form you could have got a um, oil on some paper or something somebody may hear a train if you give me a chance i'm going to make it up to you unrealistic expectations so whoever this person is they always making promises to you and they don't hold up to their end of the bargain deal when y'all said y'all was gonna get back together this person was like oh i want to make things up to you this person could have done something nice for you you know could have took you somewhere could have did something that was real nice but you have unrealistic expectations out of whoever that person is uh-huh you feel blocked you could definitely feel blocked you have unrealistic expectations. Okay, so your finances change. Pat didn't held some stuff up on your finances. And it's not until you do whatever your ancestor or whoever this person Patty is, it's not until you do whatever they say that that blacklist in your career sector will be, will be reversed. So what does that look like? That could look like, baby, you having a hard time when it comes to getting clients, maintaining clients, getting a job. Um, even being able to keep a job. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know, in this whole situation, you haven't been looking at how you have invested into the toxicity within the connection. And Pat wants you to look at that. I've been caught them lying about things confirmed in a reading. So you've caught this person lying about things that has been confirmed in a reading. And so has Pat. Somebody called an individual's number, but this person is blocked. Somebody needs to tell their friends and family that they was wrong for the way that they treated somebody. Somebody keep asking about an individual, but you may feel like you have to lie to this person. Whoever this woman is, she asks you about another individual. In fact, she's asked you something along the lines of, do she... Um, Okay, they said she asked you whose is it. <laughs> Pat said not hers. <laughs> the woman in your head. Ooh, honey. Pat ain't playing. Somebody's name is Bridget also. Pat Pat and Bridget's not playing. Um But you lied to this person. Okay, so Pat said you lied to them because this person asked you, like, do I look better than that individual? Is my sex better than that individual? And you told them, yeah, you lied to that person. Pat also said you need to clear your damn energy and they don't work for your pleasure only. You need to hold up, hold up your end of the bargain deal. Okay, now this person, they brainstorming on ways to get back in your good graces. Mm-hmm. Don't cash in on petty points. Again, this person trying to get back in your good graces, that, that girl, she going to do something freaky. They keep calling her that girl. When your ancestors don't like somebody or whoever Pat or Bridget is, when they don't like somebody, they can get real disrespectful. Somebody got a B or a C, first, middle, last, initial. Somebody takes Ambien. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's on Ambien. That's what they said. Somebody spirit teamed and turned on them also. Okay, they said a hard head make a soft ass. God said he got the final he got the final say when it comes to whether or not an individual is healed. Twin flame love is out here doing love spells to make you think of them. They want a relationship with you. Your twin flame could want a relationship with you. One of these people could be your twin flame. Over the next five to seven days now, the person that you could be dealing with, they really going to act like they really interested in a connection with you. This person, they want to sit down and they're going to say, you know, I can admit that I was wrong. Can you admit that you was wrong? Hear me out. When you find out that this person is cheating, 
that's going to be your confirmation to everything. And this person is going to be upset because, again, they spells ain't working. I don't know who, baby, I don't know who this is. In the collective energy that keep doing these spells that ain't working. I don't even know what the energy is. I, I don't know if this is a new wave of things. If this is like, I don't know. But somebody keep doing spell work that's not working. And somebody keeps getting mad because their spells is not working. But if it's not working and you even if you do more spells, that doesn't mean that it's going to make it work. You're going to end up going to court with this person. Mm-hmm. Why are you going to court? Because this person's secrets is coming out the closet. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you feel trapped in this situation. Whoever this woman is, she's obsessed. She knows. She knows who this woman is that you're thinking about. She's mentioned her to you before. Now, I don't know how she know about her. But she's mentioned her to you before. Why? Because she's in her head. She's worried about whether or not this woman is even thinking about either homicide or suicide. If you get into a relationship with this woman. What will manifest in the physical? What will this masculine see manifest, Lord? A spiritual connection. Okay, somebody that you can spend quality time with or that you have spent quality time with. You may have experimented with a poly couple or in a polyamor polyamorous um, lifestyle. But you realize that that's not a good fit for you or for the connection. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to cut your finance, cut your finances. You're going to have to cut your side piece off and there's going to be a cut in your finances. Okay, those financial schemes that you was doing, them insurance schemes and stuff for that money that you was getting, yeah, that's going to change too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your ex, you did some financial schemes with your ex, it's going to cause some arguments. So you need to definitely make sure you protect yourself because whatever you did with somebody in the past, whoever this person is, it could be an ex. They going to even get to a place where they going to settle to be a side piece. The woman that is attached to you for finances, when you decide to walk away from that woman just to get some finances, she's going to settle to be a side piece. But with this poly couple in the reverse, you may experiment with it, think about doing it. But the more time that you spend with this spiritual connection, you know that that situation is going to be a recipe for disaster. Because that ex-lover will always throw up the finances or threaten to hold that over your head. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're going to force you to tell the truth. Whoever that chick is that you are connected to sexually, if you decide to walk away from that relationship and you move towards a healthy lifestyle, a healthy relationship, a spiritual connection... The woman that I guess you're thinking about. That other woman, she's going to be like, oh, you better tell her. If you don't tell her, I'm going to tell her. You're going to see that woman's insecurities come out. She is very insecure when it comes to whoever this other woman is. The woman that you're thinking about. Because you're not connected to this woman. You want to be. So... What else is going to manifest? Something that you've prayed for. You've been fan I told you you was fantasizing about her. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You also didn't fantasize about a three-way, but nope. That's what they said. Mm-hmm. Somebody is also fantasizing about a... Okay. This is not for all masculines. But for one of y'all, you're interested in your girl's homegirl. What? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your ex gonna try to catch your butt all the way up. Mm-hmm. So, if you walking away from that other relationship, leave that relationship alone. Because that person, they gonna try to catch you up in your next relationship because that relationship is a level up. Whoever this person is, y'all support each other, especially when it comes to raising children. Y'all both have similar parenting styles, positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. You may like that. And if you have kids with this, with the woman that you with, oh, excuse me, and you end up um, dating somebody else, that woman is going to be mad. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, boo. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye.